The federal government has held talks with artisanal crude oil refiners on how to improve local content in production of uh, petroleum products. It expects that this will help bring down local pump prices following its deregulation of the downstream oil sector. Lara Folayan has more on this. Artisanal crude oil refining is basically the use of local expertise in the development of petroleum products from illegally gotten crude as the primary raw material. The activity which thrives in the country's Niger Delta region has caused severe environmental pollution. Reports from the Nigeria Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative shows the country has lost billions of dollars over the years to crude oil theft. Though the stolen crude may not be entirely blamed on activities of the illegal refiners, much of this black gold ends up in their refineries. The removal of subsidy has pushed up pump prices and the Nigerian authorities are now engaging local refiners on improved production. Having withdrawn subsidy, it becomes that petro refiners of petroleum products must sell it at market-driven price and the price went up. Therefore, it becomes necessary for us to accelerate our engagement with you as our, as our Nigerian resources to solve Nigeria's economic problem. The refiners lament challenges that confront the operations and want government to put in place modalities that will help their line of business. They particularly want privileges given local miners extended to them. Let me officially congratulate our brothers in the northern part of the country and President Mohamedou Buhari for integrating artisanal gold mining activities in the country's legal, economic, and institutional framework. This is, this is a significant milestone, and it will change the trajectory of our nation's economy. Let me emphasize that what is good for the goods is also good for the Ganda, as it will amount to injustice if federal government are not paying needed attention to the artisanal oil refiners in the southern part of the country. Reports have it that an average artisanal crude refinery produces more than 700 liters of petrol and 60 drums of diesel on a daily basis. The Nigerian government is hoping that legalizing the activities of artisanal crude refiners could help push down pump prices to between 80 to 90 naira per liter. By the time we engage with you and we're able to have the local, the domestic Nigerian refinery, refining process, all those other charges will be eliminated. And like, you, like you're telling me, the price of refined petroleum products will come under 100 naira per liter. The refiners believe it is possible with the necessary support. We don't carry ourselves, come, come sell ourselves, give Nigeria. Buy us more work together, make us solve our problems. See, and now all of us, everybody won't go strike because they say fuel the cost. Why are our fuel the cost? We they dig the crude oil, our backyard, our fuel. We can't travel, go millions of miles before you still come back. You know, make sense, Oga. So I beg, we will put our heads together, see what you will go do to help this nation. Though there are special forces in place that crack down regularly on activities of illegal refining in the Niger Delta area, the impact of these interventions still leaves a lot to be desired. The Nigerian government has said it is putting in place a policy to legalize activities of artisanal oil refiners as part of efforts to make petroleum products more affordable and accessible to Nigerians. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.